it's February and um, get the opportunity to ride you take it I've been doing a lot of projects around the house today and haven't had a chance to get out and ride so I'm taking a quick one now here's the bike full walk around 2023 Roadmaster great bike I'm enjoying it and um, well let's get out take it down the road a little bit here this one I just got in December what do you need to know about a Roadmaster an Indian Roadmaster there's a lot to know about it but the big thing is when you buy a new bike talk about this now buying a new bike there's a thing called the break-in period on a new bike some people say that ride it like you would normally and just break it in other people say you got to be cautious you know drive it a certain way to get things ready for the road <laughs> truth be known there's there's a lot to be said about a bike and the conditions it is when you get it brand new zero miles you have to be pretty cautious because there's a lot of things gears going around inside the engine that uh, they will make uh, they will make some fragments inside your oil so that break-in period really is more about getting the bike uh, adjusted to everything that's why it says varied rpms and um, not only you want to put the varied RPMs, but you really want to get the bike, you know, make sure all the brakes are working, make sure the clutch is working, feel the, uh, feel how the bike's riding. And then within about 500 miles, you want to take it in and get a, uh, get that first oil change. And uh, most new bikes, they'll do a diagnostics. A lot of times there's a visual check, you know, they're checking everything out, making sure the tires and everything all the indicators are working all that fun stuff but when they change the oil they're taking out a lot of that uh, metal fragment that's uh, been caught up inside the engine so that first oil change is really important how you drive before there before that first oil change is really still up in the air uh, I particularly I went through mostly back roads when I bought my bike I bought it over a hundred miles away from where I live so I had to um, I had to kind of take some back roads and it took me quite a while to get and I bought it in December this is Ohio so it was kind of cold kind of chilly but um, the back roads were best for me uh, just letting the bike do its own break in and um, I was trying to you know I'd, I'd pull the clutch in and I'd let the tachometer drop and then I'd bring it back out and you know maybe throttle up and I didn't hold it at any rpm for a long period of time I literally would just ride and uh, let it uh, kind of change itself as it went along and um, I, I paid attention to the, uh, the RPM and didn't really get it up and I never used cruise control during the break-in period at all so uh, that's one of the most important things nothing like a February rider out uh, it's one of the most important things to do is just to keep that engine so it's just just humming into its normal ratios of gearing and all the mix so anyway back to the oil change you, you change that oil and it gets your get your bike ready to roll and uh, I think that if, if you feel that it's important to ride your bike in a particular way then by all means do it but if you're not really hell-bent for leather to do that you're not going to kill the engine you're not going to kill the bike you ride it as you want to I just wouldn't rip through high revolution or rpms I, I would really take that varied part just in case there's anything that's a uh, that is coming loose in that beginning period then uh, you won't do any damage to your engine but uh, that's me that's just me I many people don't subscribe to that but riding it that first uh, 500 miles going nice and slow it's really kind of an important thing for you as the rider 
because you as the rider are getting to know all of the apparatus on the bike you're getting to learn where the buttons are you're getting to learn where the gauges are and I know that sounds silly because you're like well it's a motorcycle you ride a motorcycle there's a clutch there's a brake there's a throttle what else do you need well there's a lot of things to pay attention to on a bike if you look really close right now you can see that my indicator is on that says I've got a uh, a low tire and I can see on the screen here that one's at 40 and one's at 38. It's been sitting in the garage overnight and it got pretty cold last night. It was down in the teens. But um, so the bike probably just shows the tires. They'll, they'll pick up here in a minute. As soon as they pick up and I cycle, that light will go away. So for any reason, if you're out riding and you start to find out what these gauges are all about, you learn what to look for on your bike. You learn what. Um, I guess you would say idiosyncrasies are if something comes up you know you know I remember when I first bought it there was a signal came on clear over here see that orange thing that just was like oh my gosh what is that and um, you know if I'm not wearing my glasses I don't see everything super clear but um, it, it's the cruise control that's all it is <laughs> it's a cruise control indicator and so anyway and, and it happens because you bump it with your hand you bump all the buttons and such and um, that's when you start to discover that, oh, there's, there's another button there. And then finding things like I wanted to talk, I love stopping and taking pictures too. So I stopped to take a photograph and uh, the, it had to find the emergency flashers. So I didn't, had no idea where they were. And like many people, I don't read the manuals much. I try to go through them just so I can learn as much as possible, especially when it comes down to some of the functionality purposes. But uh, I had to find the, emergency flashers and uh, finally found them and then and once you find them you know where you, they are um, on this particular bike now it's different than other bikes the Indians and, and uh, have a, a different setup and your turn signals are both on the same side so you have left and right clear over here on the left hand side but the cool thing about the Indian is they put all the toggling see that screen change right there that's done by my index finger over here on my left hand so I'm actually changing through all of the different uh, screens and uh, there you see the light went off because uh, my tire pressures come up after getting out and riding it um, and then you find little things like I know where my heated grips are I know where my heated seat is so anything that you've got on the bike you need to get to know it you need to get to know where it is and you need to understand the bike and really you know there's certain things that you can find out about a bike by reading other things you just have to be riding so the break-in period is a good time to learn that so I would highly suggest get out find out what those items are on the bike and uh, embrace them because you're gonna be riding many miles on these things you you got to know what it is that you're doing and how to get to it and uh, as I mentioned I I have heated seats and heated grips and I did look because I know that the heated grips are here on the tank and uh, I can dial them up dial them down because it does get nice and warm those grips do and uh, I think that I like that break-in period to get to know the bike feel how it rides and um, you know sometimes loaded up with luggage like this particular bike it's a bagger so I've got a rear bag on it and I've got the two saddlebags um, I like to carry camera equipment but if I'm going camping I'll carry a tent and you know if I'm um, going for some overnight rides obviously I'd have lots of luggage and then not to mention if my wife hops on the bike with me if I take her for a ride it rides completely different but it's important to get to know the bike before you load it up loading it up many people don't think that that would be a big issue but it can be a dr dramatic difference in how it handles especially if you uh, if you start to uh, feel yourself leaning one way direction or another you might have off balance in your in your gear that you've loaded up so keep that in your mind and, and how you ride is uh, just as important as how the bike performs and the bike will perform based on how you uh, make it perform you know you can you can drive in any way you want but the bike is the bike and remember this it is just metal and plastic it is nothing People talk about, oh my gosh, I'm getting used to my bike. I'm afraid I'm going to drop it because it's so new and I don't want to scratch it. You know what? If it's going down, if your bike starts to fall, even if you're just sitting still and you 
step into a pothole and you lose your footing and you start to drop the bike. That nothing is worth losing your leg under the bike because this is 900 pounds that's going to crush on your leg. Don't don't even worry about that. It's metal and plastic. For God's sakes, just get away from the bike. Get completely away from the bike. Let it fall. If you're actually, and God forbid that you're driving when this happens and you spill the bike, same thing. If you can let that thing fall, ride it like a surfboard if you have to, but get away from the bike, get off the bike, whatever you can do. Things happen in an instant, so you really don't anticipate it. But get out, away from the bike, let the bike fall. It is not that important. And you know, as we all have a new bike, we always try to watch it for, you know, bugs or what have you, and scratches. And, but forget all that when, you're, when your bike starts to go over. It's just get out of its way, and you'll be all right. You'll be all right. So anyway, I'm getting used to a lot of the features on the bike. I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring that windshield down. There we go. Hit it twice. It takes it all the way down to the lowest level. And you can hear the wind noise. I hit it twice, comes all the way back up, and there it cuts that wind buffeting out just a little bit. So anyway, this is the uh, 2023 Indian Roadmaster break-in period, and um, as I get close to, here we are at 479, at 500 miles, you can, you know, you don't want to wait too much further after, you don't want to do any damage, but you're not going to, you know, you're, you're not going to ruin the bike. Um, by going a few miles over. I try to get it done before 500, and uh, I think that that's an important thing to do. So that's me, that's my, my personal preference. And to sum it up, I would say that um, how you ride your bike, how you break it in, totally up to you. Totally and completely up to you. I personally think that the varied RPMs helps of all the new bikes that I've had. I've had quite a few. Um, I do the break-in period and um, respectfully and I just have fun with it and then um, I'll take it to a good long road trip after I get that break-in period done ready and I think that's one of the uh, one of the funnest things that after you get past the break-in I showed it on the, a previous bike I had I had a Harley Davidson Pan America and at 499 miles uh, it said the break-in period was supposed to be right at 500 before you did anything didn't even have to do with an oil change, just had to do with don't get it up to certain speeds and and right at 500 miles I went ahead and opened the throttle up just to see what it would do and it was pretty incredible because it did get right up to 120 miles an hour in just seconds and um, I don't I don't push this bike to that level I mean I will I will be able to get on the freeway and I'm hoping to get a good road trip in here soon but we're so lucky oh my gosh this is Ohio this is February. I think today is February 4th, maybe. And um, you saw there's other bikes out, and uh, I'm out riding. And I'm not wearing heavy gloves. I just got light gloves on. And um, no chaps. I'm just riding along in my jeans. And uh, I think we're pretty much so lucky for this whole thing, this whole weather snap we're having. They call it springuary. So January and February gets uh, warm temperatures. They call it springuary, and I like that because uh, it gets out and all the riders are bringing the bikes out, getting the dust off of them. Uh, I'm, like I said, very, very fortunate that I've been able to ride every month of the year for well over 20 years now. And um, that's a whole nother video. I'll explain that one to you. Uh, the reason why I do that, because it's personal, but um, so no, just talking about the uh, break-in period and a new motorcycle. Ride it with respect under the first 500 miles. Go ahead and get that oil change. I love that scene when you see your shadow rolling along the farm field someplace, just sun casting over on you there. And you just um, roll along as you would on your bike. Be, be respectful at the first 500 miles, get the oil changed, and then uh, gradually take it back up to a road trip and try to uh, get some of those um, longer rides in after your 500 miles.